What is up everybody? Today we are back on Minecraft and this is actually a follow-up video to the one that I did yesterday where we actually found out that we will be getting adventure mode on Minecraft for the console. So if you guys don't believe me or you guys didn't see that video yesterday, make sure you guys go and check that out so you guys can see all of the uh, all of the information in the change log for the next big update which was yesterday's video and then we saw that we were going to be seeing adventure mode. So in that video I went ahead and mentioned that since a lot of people who are on the console don't know what adventure mode is, I would go ahead and make a video explaining explaining that and voila here we are now on the PC so I can show you guys uh, just exactly what adventure mode is and how maybe you can use it in your world so to get started on the con or I'm sorry on the PC rather to get into adventure mode what you need to do is you need to go game mode oops I'm sorry it's one word game mode 2 and then it's going to update your game mode now what's cool about this mode and that you know really makes it you know unique I guess to any other mode is that you cannot actually break any blocks or I'm sorry let me rephrase that you can break very few blocks with your hands so you can see here if I just have you know a normal item in my hand or if I get rid of this piece of dirt you can see I can't actually oop I lagged a little bit there but you can see I can't actually break any of these blocks with my hands no matter how hard I try however I can break certain things like you know grass and I think you used to be able to break leaves but it doesn't appear that uh, that you can do that anymore um, but you can break glass, or I'm sorry, glass, grass, and certain other objects in adventure mode without any tools. Now, like I said, without any tools is really the critical part of that because you actually need a tool to break every single type of block in this game. Um, you know, like I said, with the exception of a couple. So you can see here, if I want to dig up sand, I'm going to need the right tool to do that, and so I need a shovel. And once I go ahead and I pull out a shovel and I don't lag very much, um, you can see now I can go ahead and dig up sand no problemo. So the same thing is with trees and uh, you know stone so if I come up here to this tree I can cut it down with a hatchet but I consequently can't do anything with it with a pickaxe because you can see the second I put on the pickaxe I, uh, I can't interact with that anymore so like I said now that I have a pickaxe obviously now I can start mining stone and you just have to have the right tool for the right job so here I have stone I have my pickaxe and voila there you go you can see the stone is going away Now I'm not sure why I'm lagging so much in this footage so I apologize for that um, but so essentially what this mode allows you to do is it allows map creators and people who make maps to really control what you can do in the world. So if you don't want people to say start breaking blocks or start ripping down your adventure map, you can then use this mode to stop them from griefing your map or playing or cheating unfairly in the game mode. Now granted you could just go into you know the, the commands here and go game mode 1 and then, oop not game mode 41. But game mode one and just be in creative mode. But if you really, you know, want to have some kind of control over what people do in your world, you can just smack them into adventure mode, especially on the console. Um, you can just put them into adventure mode because when people load up, I'm assuming that with this game mode, when you go ahead and you load it up on your world, you're going to have to do it at the beginning and you won't just be able to change it willy nilly in the game. So it'll probably be even more effective on the console than it is on the PC because, like I said, on the PC, people can just change it here. But if people wanted to change it, say, on the console, they would have to totally end the world and restart it to, uh, to you know, go into creative mode, do whatever they're trying to do to cheat so this gives adventure map creators a huge amount of of, uh, of leeway I guess to control how people play their game and you can just stop people from getting certain tools and then that will completely stop them from griefing the map so if you don't want people to break down the walls in your world don't give them a pickaxe if you don't want people to start digging up dirt you know don't give them a, 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 a shovel so that's how you can control them. Now there's one more thing I wanted to note before I go ahead and I let you guys go, and that is that you can still do certain things in here without the assistance of a tool. So you can see here, obviously I have a spawn egg. If I go ahead and I spawn a villager, the trading interface is still completely accessible, so there is no stop to that, as well as you can see there's a zombie here. I don't actually need a sword to, uh, to still fight the zombie. <coughs> Excuse me, you don't still need a sword to fight the zombie, uh, but you can obviously use a sword to, uh, to do some increased damage. But you don't, you know, if you don't have a sword, you're not completely worthless in defending yourself. You can still, uh, you know, hit them off with your hands if need be. So that is just some of the other things I wanted to know. Let me just go ahead and make it daytime really quick. Oh, and some of them are, there's like a space in them and some of them there isn't. And I, I, it's very annoying. Okay, so anyway. There we go, it's daytime, and uh, that is essentially how Adventure Mode works. When it does come to the console, I think it's going to be very, very useful for map creators and people who make, you know, their own maps and worlds to stop people from griefing, because right now on the console, you know, people who, uh, who are having a tough time with Adventure Map, they just say, oh, I don't want to do this anymore, and then they, you know, break some blocks or cheat or do something to, uh, to make it easier, and I think, like I said, that this will give uh, map creators a little bit more control over how people play their maps. So that is Adventure Mode. That's how it works in a, in a pretty, I guess, detailed sense. Um, there really isn't many other things to note on Adventure Mode, and when it does finally come out, I'm sure you guys will figure out exactly how it works if you're still confused. And if you guys have any questions about this video, uh, which I'm sure you won't, you can leave those down in 
in the comment section but like i said if you do feel free to do so and if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys like being kept up to date with everything on the latest for minecraft on the console feel free to leave me a like down below and subscribe for some more minecraft console content in the future because i'll be your number one source for everything minecraft on the console and i do appreciate you guys watching and i will see all of you later peace